It is free Slurpee day. Was this on my list of to-dos today? No. I would be remiss if I did not get a free Slurpee on free Slurpee day. So, happy 7-Eleven. Go get my Slurpee. Hopefully they didn't shut down the little Slurpee machines because sometimes they'll only do it up until a certain time of day and then they'll just cut it off. We'll see what happens. I'm about to turn this air on because it's also supposed to be almost 100 degrees again today. I thought we were over our heat wave, but it just, it wants to come back. About to do that, then I gotta return my um, bikini or exchange it or whatever, try to get the thing off. I went through self-checkout and I didn't notice that I had the little, the little sensor thing. Like it didn't even beep when I left out of the store. So I gotta go try to get that off. Also do really want to make sure that I make it to the gym today. I'm just in the mood to really like get a good lift in. Gotta pick up some stuff from the store. There's a lot of things I gotta do. I should have started my day a lot earlier. Something to the store for my grandma who's in town, which everybody ended up getting sick um, around this time of year again. She ended up getting sick, which is very unfortunate. So I'm gonna go pick up something for her. Very hot. This air is coming on. <laughs> This whole album, I swear, this whole album has me in a chokehold. Of course, I take a pick because I got on that. in there got it and left um i told the guy at the register thanks but normally they like say something but got mine i don't know <laughs> so now i gotta go to the store and then to the gym i'm about to take a little field trip over to the camera store because i want to get my film developed it took forever for me to use up this film for whatever reason like i just keep forgetting that i have this we're gonna go over there get that developed see if they could do it as fast as they did last time perhaps explore another cafe i don't know we'll see what it's looking like and then later i'm going back into the city to meet up with my friends and it's also going to be like a little meeting because we're trying to plan a trip that's coming up so we're just kind of like coordinating everything and I'm like you know what I'll just go out there like why not and hang out with you guys and we could like make a day of it. I to have another free weekend because next weekend I may have a shoot. I feel like I haven't been working towards really getting more shoots and like actively like you know promoting it and reaching out to people just honestly because I've been enjoying my summer <laughs> and I've been enjoying just like doing leisurely activities it hasn't really been in the forefront of my mind but i do i am starting to get that creative itch again i want some content i want to i want to get excited about shooting stuff again i've been feeling that way lately it's kind of just been like ah if i get a shoot i'll get a shoot if not then i'm not really tripping but i need to like do things that are going to be more inspiring and like i think it's just because of the types of shoots that i was doing it just wasn't the type of things that were exciting me and inspiring me even if that means maybe i gotta do a couple of free shoots to just get some work out there then maybe that's something i'll have to do i i want to love my work the work that i've been doing is good but honestly i just i know i could do more so i'm gonna you know challenge myself to get out there more and start practicing and i'm starting by taking little small actions here and there and today i'm like you know what let's go get this film developed i honestly forgot like half of the stuff that i shot i got some stuff from the fourth of july because that's when i used up the rest of it other than that couldn't tell you what's on here so it's gonna be a nice little surprise to see 
what comes out of it. Let's hurry up and get out there before it gets too, too hot. And I want to have enough time to like come back and get ready for the rest of the day. When it comes, we go bad, you, yeah. Took a little detour. Uh, Auntie duties is all I gotta say. <laughs> I I think I'm I'm below. Camera. My camera died. Done. <laughs> good check. Good so check. This is my fit for today. My I dad, didn't even. I'm not on the vibes. <laughs> wow. Your fit. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, let's go get some unnecessary things in here. Oh, for your room. Should I get the bubble? Should I get this one? Should I get the whole brand? Oh, this is cute. Oh, there it goes. Wait, do they have any pictures? I thought these came in a set. I've seen that. Should I go full on bag with it? It's kind of unnecessary. What is this? It only has one racket. That was surprising. <laughs> okay, so they have the paddle but no ball. Can't see. Can't find the ball. Okay, found the claws. I feel like I should get some neon ones so that they stand out more. <laughs> I feel like anything that you need. What? <laughs> what is that? Oh, the band? You gotta get the, the bigger one, the thicker one. This is the thick one. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so I feel like I'm the one like perfect oh, for any summer activity. Like, because they just have everything in here. Okay, this is one of my favorite sections of Five and Below, or Five Below, because if you're a gym girly and you love to wear like pump covers or like oversized tees to the gym, Definitely this is a deal. So yeah, if you're ever wondering where I get like my graphic tees, sometimes I do get them at like Target, uh, but they're way cheaper here. So that's where to come get them. Oh, they have desserts too. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> I ended up having a very impromptu day with my nieces. I picked them up since I was in the area 
and they just kind of ran errands with me and we hung out got some boba and stuff yeah so that was really nice i definitely spent way more money than needed to be spent <laughs> than i was expecting to yesterday but it's worth it for them yeah i kind of stopped recording but it's the next day those errands i didn't do like grocery shopping like i actually need to do so i need to go to the grocery store i might end up doing most of my shopping tomorrow because i know trader joe's today will just be way too packed so i'm not gonna do that later tonight i'm hoping that i will make it to dance class i haven't been there in like over a year i think so kind of like nervous to even go because <laughs> i'm probably just gonna embarrass myself but that's okay i i don't know i just haven't been there in a while and i enjoy it so i'm thinking tonight i'll try to go because it's gonna be my only like free night that i'll be able to for this month yeah i just miss it and i feel like it'll just be a nice fun way to end the weekend yeah so i'm hoping i don't cat off <laughs> um yeah i don't know i don't know why i'm like nervous about it because it's not like it's literally just for fun it's not like i'm like competing or nothing or trying out or nothing so yeah i don't know why it's just that i haven't been in a while so it takes me a minute to like get back in to the groove but yeah first we're gonna run some errands i did a bunch of like editing this morning so i really didn't get out of the house at all but yeah that's what's on the agenda hopefully you guys will see later in this vlog some clips at dance class if i'm able to get any um but we'll see to go in i'm nervous but i'm excited we'll see how this goes <laughs> we'll see how much i embarrass myself but it's okay it'll be fun it'll be fun let me hurry up and go in before i'm late We did it, Joe. I don't mind the massive pimple on my head, but made it to dance class. I'm so proud of myself for going. Actually, after all this time, it could be really easy to like talk myself out of going. Did I nail the choreography? No, but I showed up and I had a good time. Really nice to see everybody again. As soon as I got there, everybody was like, oh my gosh, you're back. Yeah, they were just so welcoming and so nice to see them. It was just nice to be received with that energy. I was definitely nervous as you could probably tell with my stiff movements. <laughs> Nasty by Tanache. So it was just like a nice fun song to dance to. But if you're watching and you're somebody that's been like maybe going back and forth in your head about like something that's in the back back of your mind that keeps nagging at you that you want to do or you're like that sounds so fun like I want to do it but you're scared to like go by yourself and do it. Two cents on it just go. Nerves and anxiety could probably try to get the best of you. And I know it could be really like easy to listen to, but if it's something that you know, like you enjoy doing, don't let anything stop you. Like it could be something as small as this. Like don't let these nerves and these like temporary feelings stop you because you could only get better. So it's like, what's the what's the harm in just trying and it may be a little uncomfortable at first the way that i like to think about it when i'm going into doing something that i'm like nervous about i'm like what's the worst that could happen <laughs> i get a few moments of embarrassment and then what and then i move on with my life they move on with their lives 
it's not going to get any better by you staying where you're at right now so you might as well just start with that first little step but sometimes you just got to get out of your own head because you're your biggest critic i promise and if other people are worried about you then that's their own business but take action and it's not going to be as bad as you're thinking and the more that you sit and ruminate in those thoughts and in that negative self-talk and in that doubt the worse it's going to get the more it's going to snowball so you have to like break off that cycle and just start doing little things to prove to yourself and build that confidence that you could do these things you know it's something so small it's just like girl you just went to one dance class calm down you're not freaking the les twins or something <laughs> it's the little steps that count and that build to the bigger things so i'm not saying that i'm gonna be doing anything big with dance anytime soon it's a hobby of mine i've always enjoyed it since i was little i can't just like let those like passions and stuff just go to waste even if they're not being used to like gain anything monetarily or like status wise if it's gonna help feed my soul and my creativity then I need to do it. I need to act on those things. Anyways, all to say, I had fun um, and I'm looking forward to going back. Yeah, whatever it is that you've been thinking about doing, that you've been curious about, whether it's trying out, I don't know, a Pilates class or starting a YouTube channel, like it could be anything. Just go ahead and do it. But no, really, like it, I know how hard it could be when you get into your own head. And I feel like the older that you get, the more like, things and roadblocks come up whether it's with scheduling and work and just being busy or whether it's like your self-talk and your doubts if you needed that little push or that little reminder here's me reminding you just go do stuff if for nothing at all just to make you feel good yeah that's that on that i am gonna wrap up the vlog right here i hope you guys enjoyed it hope you stick around and subscribe um and hit that like button so that i know to keep on making these types of videos and go do those things that you've been wanting to do so yeah that's it i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace